everybody, this is Marvin again from Maria Mays, and welcome to episode 2 of our online tutorial on YouTube. Uh, in, th in this episode, we're going to quickly talk about uh, Maria Mays onboarding after you've created a, uh, an account. And uh, this process is designed to help you get started as quickly as possible. Um, and what you see in front of you will be actually uh, kind of a quick survey as to what you want to do in ReMAs. And it really relates to the four core features that we offer. Um, so you're free to ch pick and choose um, as few as you want or as many as you want, uh, depending on your business use case. So if, from episode one, if you remember, um, we offer four core features. The first one being ReMAs Inbox, the second one being ReMAs Chat, the third one being ReMAs Live, and the last being ReMAs FAQ. Um, so if you get started on this process, which shouldn't take you more than, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, um, but the, the first option is, you know, if you want to embed live chat onto your website, you can give that a check. If you want to integrate your social media accounts, such as your Facebook pages, your Facebook Messenger, Twitter, or Instagram, you can give that a check as well. Um, email is a, an important part of customer service, and most companies will have uh, official email addresses. So you can pick the third option to connect those to your ReMAs account as well. Uh, the fourth being SMS and MMS, if you have that. If you don't, um, you can just uncheck that. Um, for this example, we'll just kind of skip that step. Um, and then the last one is ReMAs FAQ, which we highly recommend you implementing just because it's so powerful and it integrates really well with kind of the main dashboard with your live chat. And also if you want to self-host it on its own domain, you can do that as well. Uh, so once you're happy with your selections, um, click go to next step. And, you know, based on the, the options that you've picked in the, in the first page, um, there will be, you know, four steps here. If you picked SMS, there will be, there'll be five steps. So for the embeddable setup, we feel like this is the most important part of ReMAs and your entire customer experience. So it comes up first. Um, and we offer you two different choices. The first one is you can just install the recommended shout box. Um, you can think of the shout box just as the chat box, it's the chat widget. People call it different things, but for this demo uh, or for this tutorial, we'll just call it the shout box. Um, if you just want to go with the standard colors, the standard settings, uh, standard text, you can just you know click install recommended shout box. Um, if you want to customize your own, um, click configure advanced shout box and we'll actually take you through the quick setup process. Uh, the first one being, you know, display or, or sh directly show the message box, which is kind of the, the, the chat widget. If you want to show um, help articles first, um, you have an option of doing that as well. Obviously this is blank because we haven't added any FAQ articles, uh, but there are two modes here that you can pick from. So we'll just go with the first one. Um, the second option is the contact mode. Um, and again, keep in mind you can edit and change all of this um, after it's complete. It'll be in ReMAs under settings and then under website integrations. And then there's a little um, widget builder called embeddables. So you can customize everything uh, later. So for contact mode, we have four to pick from, you know, require name and email only when staff are not available. Um, this is actually talking about office hours, which we will go over in another episode later down the road. Um, the second mode is require name and email at all times. That means customers will have to provide their name and email in order to send a message, uh, the initiating message. The third one is don't require name and email, but prompt for email after conversation has started. So this is a fairly flexible mode. That means customers can actually send you a message as a guest user and you can chat back to them, you know, as, as a guest user. So this gives some flexibility as to kind of uh, how you want the customer experience to be. Um, and then if you want a traditional contact form, and this is not something a lot of you know our competitors are offering anymore uh, just because it's kind of old school. Uh, but sometimes old school is good. you know a, a traditional contact form in the widget format in kind of the shop box format is fairly unique. and if you want something like a traditional contact form, um, you have that option. Uh, so let's for, th for this example, let's just pick the second one, require name and email at all times. I'd be happy with that. Click next. And then you can change the, pos the positioning. Uh, so bottom right or bottom left. Or if you have some specific criteria, you can use advanced positioning to play around with the pixels. Um, you can change the theme color. So if we, let's say, go to this green color here, um, it, this, you know, the, the, the entire shop box will, will kind of refresh and you can kind of see what that looks like. This is fairly neon. 
Um, you can change the, the, the trigger icons. We'll go with you know the plain question mark. Um, you can change the icon size. And you can change the welcome message. So this is the message that customers will see when they first interact with the, the shop box. So if you're happy with that, click Save. Okay, so um, if you're using Shop Shopify or BigCommerce, um, you don't have to do this step because we do support a native integration with those two platforms and you can do one-click publishing. That means um, all of the script will be installed automatically for you directly in your theme um, and you can just publish it directly to your website. The other alternative is, you know, if you don't want to play around with code or, you know, or install a JavaScript yourself, you can have your developers um, implement um, a Google Tag Manager, and that will give you a really, really easy way to one-click publish as well. And you can edit everything in Reamaze. Um, you can unpublish. You can update. All that stuff is really easy with Google Tag Manager. Uh, but if you're not using Shopify BigCommerce or Google Tag Manager, you will have to install this manually, and we have some instructions here that you can follow. Or you can contact our support team um, for tricks and tips, and you know, depending on your situation, we might have some better suggestions. Uh, but this is the basic installation for the shop box. Uh, if you're happy with that, uh, click Done with Embeddable Setup. Oh, by the way, there's a send code by email here, so if you want to send this code over to a developer that you work with in your company um, and have them install it, you can do that pretty easily as well. So click Done with Embeddable Setup. And now we're on step two of four. And this is social media stuff. So if you would click here, you know, you'll have to authenticate into your Facebook page as the admin. Um, and then while you're doing that, you can also bring in your Instagram account. And connecting your Facebook page actually brings in the messenger account that's connected to your Facebook page. So it's kind of a one-step process for all three. So Facebook page, Facebook Messenger, and Instagram. Once it's connected, you'll have some import settings that you can pick from. You know, if you want to import page review comments, if you want to import public comments, if you want to import uh, private messages, which is Messenger, um, and the same goes for Instagram. So go ahead and click on this now if you're watching this tutorial and do that and you can come back to the video. Um, for Twitter, it's the same thing. Just make sure you're logged into your Twitter account before you click on this. So that'll make things much more fluid. Um, we'll authenticate you and then bring you back to Reamaze to have you uh, finish up the setup. And it's just a few more clicks uh, in terms of the import settings. If you're done with that, click this button here. And then on step three is email setup. So by default, when you first create a Reamaze account, um, you're given a brand. And that brand is, associ is associated to the business name that you picked when you first created your account. Um, we also give you um, an email channel by default because you kind of need to have an email channel for anything to work, even you know the, the chat process. Um, and this is provided to you as this. So for this test account that I created, it's support at johnsmithco.reamaze.com. And the way email works with Reamaze is really straightforward. It's, it's basically email forwarding. So if you're using Gmail, um, just go into your, the settings option, go to forwarding slash IMAP or pop or one of those options. And you basically want to point your origin inbox, which might be, let's say, support at johnsmithco.com. You want to point forwarding to over to support at johnsmithco.reamaze.com. Okay, once you do that, um, you'll be able to just receive all the incoming emails that are going to support at johnsmithco.com in your Reamaze inbox, which is this one here. Um, and you don't have to worry about you know masking anything. We do take care of all of that you know automatically. Uh, when you reply from Reamaze, it'll go back to the customer from your origin inbox address. Uh, when your staff agents reply, their personal emails are masked as well. Um, you can pick from you know reply either with name, you can reply with the channel name, which just is you know the, the channel email address, or you can reply with the brand name. So a lot of flexibility is there that you can pick from later. Um, if you're done with email setup, uh, go ahead and click done. And the last step will be the um, FAQ. Um, so you can pick from three different options. You know, I want to, I want my FAQ hosted on a dedicated site. I want to embed my FAQ on my own website, and I want to include my FAQ as part of the Reamaze embedded shop box. So clicking on any of these um, will actually give you in specific instructions on what to do. Okay, and it's fairly, it's very, very straightforward. Now. Remember on the first step when you actually customize the embeddable shout box, um, there was a mode where you can you know, include the FAQ as part of the, the experience. 
So if you did that already, you can skip this part um, because it's already included. So once you're done, go ahead and click done with FAQ setup. You'll get a green check mark that everything is completed. Click go to my dashboard and you'll be taken to the main dashboard um, where we will continue in part three, or not part three, but episode three. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next episode.